Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel and back to more Disney Dreamlight Valley. So we are switching it up today. Last episode we worked on Gaston's questline. This episode we are going to start with Rapunzel. I don't know if you guys can see her in the background there, but we are going to meet up with her, start on her first two quests in her questline, and that is what we have to look forward to. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Mal, could I ask you something? It's about the tower. It's just, hmm. when we found the Jewel of Time there, it was the first time I'd visited the tower in months, and I think I sort of miss it. Not that I miss being stuck there, I just miss being able to be there. Mm. And you see, the thing is, it's kind of a mess from all the time magic. So I was sort of hoping you could help me fix it. <laughs> help you fix it? Yeah, of course. Well, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm always here to help Rapunzel. Let's go have a look at what needs to be done. Bye. All right, the housewarming. So we are going to clean up Rapunzel's tower. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was quite a mess. Well, here we are. Oh. Is something wrong? Oh. No, no. It's just sometimes the tower feels like my first friend here, and sometimes it feels like the past. Well, the past can't hurt you. You're right, especially if we <laughs> keep looking forward and focus on the amazing present. How about a door? Then you can come and go without climbing, and friends can easily visit you. It even looks like there's an old one hidden here. We just have to fix it up. Really? Oh, I've Yay! always wanted my own door. Oh, Rapunzel, so sweet. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm funny and handy too. One door coming right up. I just need to gather some materials to fix it. I'm thinking zinc, tin, and some soil. Once you find it all, could you bring everything to me? I'd love to learn how to fix a door. I've done some woodworking <laughs> on a few tiny chameleon houses, but never a human-sized door. You've got it. We can fix it together. Alright, so we are going to make Rapunzel a door. We have everything we need except for the soil, and hopefully I have that in my house. So I am going to go ahead and hang out with Miss Rapunzel. I'll go grab the rest of the soil and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I am in my house now. I picked up the extra soil that I had and I'm gonna go ahead and give everything to Rapunzel. I did go ahead and uh, hang out with her and give her some gifts for the day. I think we are up to level five friendship with her now. So this will be pretty good. It's actually happening. I can't wait. <laughs> Then let's fix this door. All it takes is a wave of my hourglass and a few of our supplies. Oh, there it is, you guys. Rapunzel has her very oh. own door. Yay. It's the most perfect door I've ever seen. I can't wait to use it. This is going to be the most <laughs> loved door in the history of doors. Well, what can I help with next? You want to help me more? Yeah, of course. Friends help friends. I've been learning that. I'm so happy we found each other in the jungle. Friend. And well, I did have something in mind. When mother was upset with me, she takes something of mine away. I'd really like to find my treasures. She said she lost them around the aisle. But with time all confused, I don't know where or when they might be now. I bet I can find them with my hourglass. What should I be searching for? My frying pan. It's cast iron and I think she took it to the oasis. She said practicing self-defense with it was unladylike. My wall clock might be at the docks. She said I didn't need to worry about the passing of time. My handheld lantern is probably in the grasslands. That was because I was up too late reading and getting silly ideas about adventures. And my purple <laughs> pillow should be by the promenade. 
I think she just wanted it for herself. All right, you guys, we have got a lot of searching to do. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, what's the closest thing? I guess the grasslands and the promenade. Let's check the map. Okay, I guess we can circle around. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll check the grasslands first. Right, let's see. So I guess... Um, it doesn't say any of the swirling sand, so I guess we have to just kind of search around. Hopefully it will be easier than yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. Hey, there is the purple pillow. All right, so this is pretty awesome. So far, the hourglass is taking me right to where I need to go. So knock on wood that these next two will be the same way. All right, guys, we are in the oasis now. Let's see if we can get that cast iron pan. Yes, we did. Awesome. Whew, okay. Well, there is the wall clock, so I'm gonna go and find Rapunzel. My treasures, you found them. Could you return them to where they go inside the tower? It's time for me to go feed the capybaras, and I don't want to be late. Here's a painting I did of the tower. It'll show you where everything goes. Let's see, so I see the... I see the clock. Looks like that's on her painting table. A craft table, whatever that is. See the purple pillow. Uh, where, oh, I see the frying pan on the wall. Oh, and the lantern by the bed. Okay. I think I can remember that. Alright, so luckily once you get to the correct spot, you can interact. So there's not a whole lot of guesswork in this. Alright, so we put the lantern down. Here is the frying pan. There's a purple pillow. Or purple cushion. And I think the... Yep, the clock was right here. Okay, all done. Now the tower really feels like my home now. The home I choose for me. That's awesome. Welcome home, Rapunzel. Thank you for everything. Oh, this is such a good feeling. I want to share it with everyone. Will you help me do something nice for the capybaras? Oh, can I help snuggle them? You can snuggle them if you make friends with them. They are very sweet. The capybaras are my friends. And now that I have a home, I want them to have one too. They'll be my neighbors. I've already drafted a plan for their house and started collecting some of the materials we'll need. Here's some green grass, <laughs> green grass, green glass like flowers. Could you also gather bamboo, more tropical wood, and spinel? If you could make the house and then place it in the jungle, I'll finish cleaning. I found more sand in the tower. Yeah, she's got her work cut out for her with that sand. Right, craft a tropical companion home. So I guess I already have the materials. Okay, I was hoping that was going to work as a craft desk. I think there is one somewhere uh, that shows up in, in the shop. I don't think I've gotten it yet, but it looks basically like Rapunzel's painting table. So I thought that might be what that is. The only craft table I have is at my house, so let's go. We'll fast travel down to the docks and head to the house. All right, there we go. Tropical companion home. Okay, cool. Now we need to place it anywhere in the jungle. All right, you guys. Um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and place this little house next to Rapunzel's. I think that's a good spot for it. So that will be close to her. She can watch her friends and get to them easily when she wants to feed them. So there we go. The capybaras <laughs> look so happy with their new house. 
Thank you for all of your help, Mel, from the capybars and me. You really help make our houses into homes. All right, the housewarming is complete. So now that we have this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and place a couple of capybaras here. I only have maybe one or two that I am friends with. Oh, I have three. All right, might as well put them there. There we go. <laughs> they are so cute. All right, so now that we have got that done, we are gonna go ahead and get into the next quest. Mal, I have a really important question for you. Have you ever had bread? <laughs> You've never had bread before? Huh. Oh, I have, but only the ones I can make in the tower. And they're kind of heavy. <gasps> I just had a baguette with fresh butter at <laughs> Shea Remy, and it was... It was life-changing. <gasps> and before that, Eve and I went Yay. doom surfing. She mostly floated along beside me, but it was so thrilling. I can't believe this is my life. That does sound like a great day. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Everything in the valley is. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Everyone in the valley has been so kind to me, helping me realize my dreams. So I was hoping to make some of their dreams come true. Well, that's nice. Could you help me with that? You know everyone here. Yeah, let's do it. Could you talk to Remy? He wasn't his usual happy self today. Maybe if we help him achieve a dream, it might cheer him up. While you do that, I'm going to see who else in the village might have a dream we can help make come true. Hey, I've got a dream light. Awesome. So let's go find Remy and we'll have a talk. Hey, Remy. Rapunzel said you seemed a little down today. Everything okay? Uh huh. She said that? Oh, this must be about earlier. She was asking about my dreams. I told her I always wanted to open a restaurant, but now I've done that a couple of times. And I'm happy, but I've mastered all the recipes in my repertoire, and Merlin doesn't have cookbooks that don't use Eye of Newt or time travel. Guess I'm kind of missing that cheesy, lightning bolt, roasted mushroom discovery th feeling. Does that make any sense? So you need to cook something new. Exactly. But when? Huh. I have recipes I could try, but I'm running two restaurants in the valley now. Not a lot of time for experimenting. What if I cooked one of the recipes for you? Maybe tasting something new will help you get your inspiration back. Well, you are a great cook. If anyone can help me get inspired, I know it's you. Here. Oh, we get a new recipe. Oh, I hope it's a new one. Hey, take this recipe. I've never made it, but it's pretty interesting. It has nothing to do with butter, and it's spicy, which is always exciting. I've got to get back to work. Good luck. All right, find the ingredients for this Ruby Masur like doll. Magic? Is that All right. a thing? Let's go ahead and learn this. This is definitely new to me. All right, so we need, this looks like chili peppers, tomato, and are those beans? Or I think those are the lentil things. All right, I can't really tell if it's the ruby lentils or the beans. All right, but I'm pretty sure I have, I know I have tomatoes. I'm pretty sure I have chili peppers, so. I'm gonna go get the other ingredient, whatever that is, and we'll start cooking. Okay, there we go, you guys. So I finally got the last ingredients. It was the ruby lentils. Those take two hours to grow. So I went ahead and did a miracle growth potion and got those instantly. But we have chili peppers, tomato, and ruby lentils, and that makes up the ruby masseur doll. Okay, I need to give it to Remy. I wonder... 
if he is in here somewhere. Don't think so. Oh, that aroma is so enticing. Yeah. Chili and tomato and these fantastic lentils. Yeah. It's fragrant and fresh and complex. There are fireworks exploding in my mouth. My palate is dancing down a promenade of flavors. Yeah, that is the best food review mm. ever. Mm. Yeah, when you taste incredible food, the words are just there. Now this is just what I needed to start really creating again. You said Rapunzel sent you? Yeah, she said you've been helping her achieve her dreams and she wanted to help you with yours. Well please, take that amazing dish back to her and let her try it. Yeah. And thank you. I've got some great new ideas already. Awesome, so we helped Remy, which is always a good thing. Maybe he will give us some new recipes sometime soon. Chef Remy sends his best regards. He was dreaming of a dish that would inspire him in the kitchen again, and the one I made did the trick. He wanted you to try it too. Oh, it's spicy and delicious. It might be my new favorite thing since French bread. Thank you so much for helping Remy. While you were doing that, I figured out whose dream should be next on our list. Ready? Cast on, oh no. I think I need a little break from Gaston. Oh. Well, most of the villagers seem to avoid him, oh. and it seems to me that he spends all his time just trying to get them to like him. Maybe if he tried a tactic other than bragging about how great he is, they would. Well, he's had a pretty difficult time on the aisle. Don't you think he deserves his dream just like anyone? Yeah, you're right. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> We make Gaston feel like a hero by giving him the chance to rescue me. A damsel in distress from a horrible creature in my tower. <laughs> but you're not a damsel in distress. <laughs> I've read about them in a book from Merlin's library. I think I could pretend to be one. Plus, we're going to build an amazing creature he can save me from. Okay, <laughs> what do we need to make this creature? <laughs> Sinking paper mache. I've made lots of masks before, so this shouldn't be too tough. Huh? We'll need softwood uh. and something to keep it from sticking to the molds. Uh, plastic scrap could work here. I'll find some. I'll also need some creepy crawly things like scorpions and piranhas. So we have more gathering to do. Need softwood, two scorpion, three piranhas. Alright, well while we're already down here, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, fish for some scorpions. Let's try it up here first. I think those are blue bubbles and here's some right here. Alright, there we go. There is one. Perfect. There is our second scorpion. Now I think the piranhas are... Oh, that's the last one I have to catch um, in the lagoon. All right, let's head up there. And we need three of these. All right, we made it to the lagoon. And the piranhas are in gold bubbles. So depending on the spawn rate, this might take a little while. But here is our first one. All right, everyone. So, little development. Um, this was going to take way too long trying to wait for these piranhas to spawn naturally. So I went ahead and did the magic uh, bait potion. And I also went ahead and grabbed 10 softwood. So we should be done with this part in just a minute. Oh, maybe not. All right, I forget. You have to actually fish from the bubbles. And I think the blue ones don't turn gold. I think they stay blue, so it only works if you fish from the white bubbles. Alright, there is the softwood, plastic scrap, scorpion, and a piranha. Well, three piranha, actually. Oh, these are just what I need. Okay, <laughs> let's make a creature. Well, what do you think? Um, actually, I don't even... S oh, oh no. Yeah, that'll trick Gaston. Trick in a good way, right? 
Yes, he's definitely going to be excited to save you from this creature. Okay, I think we're ready. Will you go get Gaston? Make sure to tell him I yelled for him specifically. And be really scared. I'll give the performance of a lifetime. Alright, let's go get Gaston. Paid attention to me. Gaston! We have an emergency. <laughs> of course you do. That's why you came running to me. Rapunzel is in trouble. There's a horrible creature in her tower. Someone should save her. Huh? You don't say. A hero should save her. <gasps> why are you talking like that? Just say it plain and simple. Dude, go rescue Rapunzel. <laughs> well, why didn't you say that in the first place? Come on, Mal. I'll need someone to witness this hunt. Rapunzel won't be reliable. She'll be far too scared. Meet me at the tower, and don't take long. Her life is in my hands. <laughs> Alright, he took the bait, so let's go back to the tower. Y'all, look at this thing. That's insane. What is that horrible creature over in the corner? Its head is so round, and its eyes are so still. It's hideous. It's poised to strike. Not if I strike first. Take this, monster. Alright, get him, Gaston. Another impressive victory for Gaston. Come on, Mal. Make a portrait of me with my quarry. But hurry, I won't hold still for long. Alright, I've got a special contraption that can make a portrait in a blink. Alright, we are taking pictures. Cool. Alright, let me see. Rapunzel is going to be a little in the way, but I think we can get the monster and Gaston there. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, that was good. This is your portrait of my heroic moment? The angle is all wrong. You failed to capture my rugged jawline or bulging biceps. I didn't think it was possible to make a poor rendering of me. Try again and do better this time. Seriously? Alright, let's try another one. Alright, this is gonna have to do. Ah, this one is far better than your first. I'm going to show this to anyone in the valley who doubts me. They'll see that Gaston is a real hero. <laughs> Gaston, you saved me. Thank you. Oh, can't see. You're welcome. Just another day in the life of a hero. Gaston, would you say that this rescue was a dream come true? Of course it was. For you. Oh, how did I know he was going to say that? Alright, Rapunzel. We did it! We made Gaston's dream come true. It was painful, but worth it. There's just one final dream we have to take care of today, and this one's a surprise. Come with me. Rapunzel, is this... an ancient wishing pool? Yes. It said if you toss a coin in and make a wish with all your heart, it'll come true. One coin and some hope in your heart can make your dream real. Isn't that beautiful? It is magical. This place just sings with something more. That's why I brought you here. I've spent my whole life wishing for a friend just like you. Someone kind and adventurous. Someone who makes me feel safe and loved. You've made my dreams come true. Now it's your turn. Here. Oh, I get a coin for the wishing well, or wishing pool. Search your heart and make a wish. Bye. Hey, throw the coin in the water. Right, Rapunzel, you and your painting are in the way. Alright, I guess that was it. Huh? What did you wish for? Wait, you can't tell me. You have to keep it to yourself or it won't come true. 
You help everyone here live out their dreams, Mal. Including me. And you should have the same. Keep the dream in your heart. Hold on to it tight and never give it away. And it'll come true. I just know it. Aww. Well, thanks, Rapunzel. That was... That was really sweet. But... You know what that means, you guys. That was it. We have finished Rapunzel's first two quests. We should be stalled until we get to level 7. Yeah. So, again, I am going to work on that. Like I said in the last episode, I'm going to kind of go back and forth between these two. I'm going to just work on friendship levels and... Whoever I get to first, which I think will be Gaston, uh, we will work on their quests in the next episode. So hopefully that won't take too long. That is it for this episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Please be sure to uh, give the video a like, comment down below, and please subscribe to the channel if you have not. All of those simple, quick and easy things help with the algorithm and help the channel to grow. I appreciate you guys again so, so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.